Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today, and that is a sunset in Wasaga Beach. Hi, check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Today I'd like to share Joshua 3 verses 15 to 16. It says, It was harvest season, and the Jordan was overflowing its banks. But as soon as the feet of the priests were carrying the ark, touched the water at the river's edge, the water above that point began backing up a great distance away. Here's my poem. When you step into water. When Peter saw Jesus walking on water amidst a storm, he wanted to follow Christ, but fears start to form. As soon as he cried to him for help, he grabbed Peter. Will you trust God completely and step into the water? When you take your step into obedience to Christ, you will see miracles and breakthroughs come into your life. Are you willing to take the step even amidst difficulties? Will you decide to obey despite your fears and frailties? Here's my essay. There were major miracles that God used water to show His people His power. There was a River Jordan crossing of the Ark of the Covenant in the, blood, in the book of Joshua, the deliverance of Israelites from the Egyptians at the Red Sea in Exodus, the walking on water of Jesus amidst a storm and making Peter walk on water, the turning of the water or river into blood by Moses was his first public miracle, just as Jesus' first public miracle was the turning water into wine at the wedding at Cana. When we take a step into the water, we experience the impossible. Prayer. Give me courage to take the first step into the water, Lord. Reflection. When did you take a step into the water? Um, one of the biggest uh, step I took, although it doesn't mean that you need to do the big step, even small little steps will lead you into uh, miracles in your life, was to... Uh, leave everything behind in the Philippines and come to Canada. It was really a big step. It's almost like the story of Moses being told by God to leave his own land and go somewhere else that he didn't know. Um, in a way, I knew I was going to Canada because I married a Canadian, but I didn't know what kind of life I would have uh, because my first husband um, and I met online on the internet, so... We dated online for eight months, and within ten months, we were married when he came back to the Philippines and married me and brought me here. So it took another year before we got back together uh, through the sponsorship and everything. But it was a big step because I had my comfort zone back in the Philippines. I was, I was born in another country, but I grew up in the Philippines, and I had all my roots there, my family, my friends, and my career. So... I was the one who made a choice to marry this Canadian man, but also at the time that I did that, it was at the peak of the height of uh, so many political upheavals happening in the Philippines. So it was a good way to get out of that corrupt government and um, a country that doesn't really take care of their, its citizens. So when I took a step into the water, meaning into the big change that I would have, I didn't realize that I had to give up a lot. I gave up uh, my family, being with my family. Um, I had to leave my son behind for a while before I really uh, had to find out what's in store for us back here in Canada. So that was a big step. But then when I did that, it started my healing journey because um, I didn't realize that I had so many issues when I was back in the Philippines until I came to Canada. In Canada, we have a really good uh, government system where they provide all your health problems, your mental uh, problems that uh, you could get help for free. So I was able to, uh, because I was abused by my first husband, um, eventually that marriage didn't last and he, we, we divorced. And uh, even the whole government helped me through the process of divorce without me spending any money on it. So God had his hand on even a wrong choice I made. It was a wrong choice for me to find a man um, online and didn't really know much about him. And uh, I had jeopardized my safety. 
but God used that because it was only in Canada that I would probably get healing from all my traumas, from all my uh, unresolved issues and unresolved anger. So that was the biggest step into the water that I took and God um, changed my heart, changed, transformed me into a new person, into a born again person. And I am glad that he did and I glad, I'm glad that I stepped into the water. So I invite you, don't be afraid, step into the water and you will find great heights that God has plans for you. Have a blessed day.